No, if I put oil on this, yeah, it would be, it would make it go in easier, but don't forget oil just burn away, because this gets so hot in this area. And then that carbon would just clog the threads for the next time. You follow what I mean? Mm -hmm. So oil doesn't solve all problems. This is next. I bought uh, two feet because now we're going to have enough to do whatever we want to do. And if something breaks in the future, boom, you know, we have it. Uh, essentially what I'm going to do is take my time, get it, I, you know, I don't have to make a real sharp turn and possibly kink this, so then why do it? You follow what I'm, I'm saying? It's just take my time. I'll, I'll bend this later over here. I'm just working on one end at a time. What I do, I get this thing started first. Remember, it's fine thread. We could cross thread it if we're not careful. And now, I bottom seat the tubing. Are you with me when I say bottom seat? I've pushed it in all the way. Okay? Now, I'm going to start tightening this, and we're going to feel, I'll be able to feel, we might be able to hear it. Um, we might be able to hear the ferrule breaking away from the nut. If I don't tighten this down, it'll leak right here, gas. There. Just I, I just know from feel. That, and then I'm pulling on it to make sure. Okay. Now, did I crank down with my whole arm? No, I did it. What I feel is enough. It's hand tight. It's hand tight. Um, when we go to light the pilot later on, I'll just put my light right there and see if a little pilot light will come out to see. All right. Now we're working on the outside up here. Same idea. Get it started here first. A lot of, a lot of hair. If there um, are pets, cats, dogs, whatever, just expect that. Okay. Backseat that right there where you made your connection at the aluminum tubing. Yeah, you mean down here? Yeah, yes. yes. I am going to backseat this once I get it lined up and straight in. So you, just, you see what I'm doing now? Yeah. Just get it in all the way. You with me, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give us I know. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Well, we got plenty of room in this particular situation because uh, the, ex the spaces the that we're in. showing its 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 
it's not right here to tighten that. You get you can oh, only turn oh, yeah, the corner from the, 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 from the gap. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shit, I got plenty of room. I don't know about you. I'm talking about the book. I'm talking about that little area right there. Yeah, it's that it's kind of room. real small, man. Plenty of room to put a cake in an aluminum tube. Yep. Just not that. We're not mentioning any names. Uh, no, hell no, no, man. <laughs> I don't even know who the hell did that, man. Push yeah. comes, push comes to shove. I have taken out my snips and I've cut that metal so I can get in from back here. You with me? Okay. You know, if I have to, there are a couple ways you can do it. Yeah, jeez, it is tight. And you need plenty of light too, boy. You need it. As oh, we're talking about lights. <clears throat> I bought a hundred foot cord. This is 16 gauge because I um, stranded in here. Three conductor, okay. I bought this head separately. McGill is the brand name. You get that from uh, electrical wholesaler around here. Active Electric on West Lawrence handles McGill heads. Why do I like this? Because I can bounce this and I'm not going to break the glass. You see what I mean? All right. But you pay for this. Also has, you know, an That's outlet right there, outlet too. Right. Um, my point is, this thing costs, this extension cord, just a regular old extension cord. How much, Wojtek? Uh, well, that thing costs $50 right here. Just this. Uh, okay. So I got in here. Um, I used terminal clips because it's stranded, and, uh, and I could really bear down on the clips. Screwed it in that way. The um, the male plug right there going in. I bought that separately too. Okay. I don't let anybody else use this except me. You did. Walks. You did right. Okay. I mean, for an extension cord, fifty bucks for the head. The whole thing probably cost me seventy-five bucks. You know, but I'm going to have it until I die. Hopefully, it'll be in a few years. Not. Right. <laughs> so hopefully, no. it'll be in a few years. <laughs> You're going to be around for a while. He said 10, 20. He said he's ready to go. We need to pick your brain for a few more years, so don't worry about it. We're going to take good care of you. Outside, I just hold the bulb. You can take this off. Okay. Right there. See, if I if I really get cold outside, just take... I have my, my uh, gloves on. Boom, right on the bare bulb. And you warm up quickly. When you're outside and you're freezing, you'll do anything to get warm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway. Pardon? I go inside, right? I go inside. Yeah, but you can't repair everything inside. Inside. Yeah. Okay, uh, new uh, tubing. Um, now, can I check incoming gas pressure with yeah. this okay. gas valve? Does it have a, it a gas uh -huh. port there? Right there. Okay. Can I check manifold pressure here? You can't see on that side, but yeah, right there yeah. on the other side. Also, do you see this? Yeah, right. So I have Just a in case you can't, you can't get in right there. That's you right. can always check it on the manifold, right? Um, if we, all right, <laughs> you need to get it turned off. You need your uh, manometer, Mr. Lee? I will, yeah. okay. Uh, but I want to let me I hope I can try out my little. You see how rusty it is, right? You got to kind of clean it up. Well, I'm not worried about the inside, I'm worried about the threads themselves that, that it's so rusty that. We may strip this trying to get this out. And it helps nobody. There we go. Good. Okay. We've turned off the gas, right? Right. So we don't have to worry about this flying out. And you remember my story about this, right? Yeah. The way you put it in. Put it, put it back in. Almost burn the house down. So we here. keep this together. Here, put some keys down there. Put some keys down there. All right. We will not forget it. Um, my, my heavy brown, brown bag, I would suggest that you guys get a bag. What's the No, man. You got to try mine. Hmm? You got to try this. Oh, he got his own. Oh, oh. 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 You gotta try mine. Let's, let's see this. <laughs> we have a field piece. Oh, no. so you know, you're not I'm a things fluke are. man, so I'm not familiar with it. Okay. Ah. Manometer accessory head. Okay. Here's our main field piece. We that's have. Not, that's the only thing you need. I didn't see how that worked. Do we have the tubing here? The, yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. It's in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, alright. What, did you just go out and bite us? Yeah, I got it. 
a couple of weeks ago. We have to show we have to show that it's been used by a, a veteran, right? Bang! It's still too brand new. To st- <laughs> <laughs> the customer will not be impressed. What's neat about field piece on these? See, all goes together. Now, where where do we hook this up? Since I'm not familiar with field piece, what what is UAD? The, there you go. Micro amps? Yeah. Okay. APO, I don't know what that is, but we'll we want to turn this on. So there must be a battery in here, huh? Right. There it is right there. It converts one inch water column to uh, millivolts or 10 millivolts DC. Selectable. Hmm. All right, so let's see what's going on here. So that's, that is. Hmm? Oh, that's a nice meter. That's everything right there, right? Yeah. Huh? Set you back about 170. About 200. Yeah. 200 for them? But that's everything, all the autometers you need, though, right? Yeah, yeah pretty um, much. For, well, some for guys heating. like to have a CO meter, and of course, field piece. Okay. Hmm? Huh? For carbon monoxide. The CO box. 60. 60, that what you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's not too bad. Okay. Not that bad. We have it all together. There we go. Let's turn this on. Let's see, <coughs> see what we get here. Turn this off for a little better. Oh. Hmm. Seems kind of low. One point seven. Yeah, it seems kind of really low. Yeah, but is it? Are we? Are we doing everything are you right? right? You're on the right range. Zero it out. If it's not this way, it's not. it says. It's a millivolts. It's a millivolts. millivolts. All right. Hold DC. Yep. Oh, there it is. All right. Now that gives us a point. All right. So it's six point five inches. Okay. Must be about a seven. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll accept That's six point five. Six point five is good. good. All right. So we would write this down. Okay. Now let's turn on see if it drops. You with me? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, matches. 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 Now I don't have my exten- you know my alligator clip that extends it, so I'm gonna use my needle nose. We're gonna put this on pilot right here. Right there. Okay. Gotta curve it over here. Okay, do it. Lit. So I have to wait those 30 seconds? Yep. While we're waiting, I am going to relight it while I'm thinking about this. Let's check my work here. See? All right. And what about, what about right there? We're okay there. Now, what I do, see how it's how it's lit? Yeah, of course, it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't have that. It shouldn't have that. So let's keep it lit. And just turn and that tight. baby Turn it down a little bit. And when the gas stops, then we know. You got a good seal on there. Okay. You with me? Yes, sir. Oh, a little bit of tricks of the trade by Voitech. You like that, huh? Yeah, yeah I like that. Like that. Series one. Yeah, yeah a little bit coming a out of there. So let's do it again. Okay, try one more time. Oh, uh, we good on that seal right you there. Okay. You okay? Yes, you see what, what I did? Yeah. Now, yes, um, you can release it. It should be, uh, yeah, it's holding. Okay, when you walk into a room and you smell the gas, you don't light a match. We didn't do that here, did we? No. Okay. I mean, obviously it was no safety issue, right? I mean, that was a pilot light, mm-hmm. essentially. That was, so I'm just saying, you know, you play heads up, ball. you don't light a match when there's raw gas, but... In this case, just to check a little fitting, that's no... I'm not going to go back out there, go to a hardware store, buy some soap bubbles and put it on it. No, I'll just light a little light a match. And you saw how small the flame was. Yeah, yeah. Would you recommend to do a leak check on the gas line? No. Like if you finish uh, installing? No reason to. I didn't do anything on that. Hall. No, just saying, just saying. If, you, cause, if uh, I smell gas or the customer smells gas, um, I do soap bubbles. I carry soap, soap bubbles. bubbles in the truck. I don't have them in the car, but I have them in the truck. No drip light? Nope. 
No drip leg. Yeah. Could have been, see, now why couldn't they have put a drip leg right there? I don't know. Okay, okay. the inspector. The little nipple. The inspector's going to come and say, no drip leg, I'm not giving you approval. You know, why, why fool around with that? Would have taken nothing to do that. Okay, uh, we're going to turn on. We have 6.0 inches right at the moment. Right above my head, if you can turn it on, we're going to see should this. Should we turn the uh, gas assembly to on? Yep, we should. Okay, the relay turned that on. We're going to turn to yeah. on right there, burners. We have ignition. Okay, it went from 6 to 4.4. 4. All right, I would... I really wonder about 4.4. 4. Um, does that go up into a half inch or is that three quarter? No. So it's half inch. Half inch, half inch, half inch. Well, let's find out. Quarters of those. Quarters of those. All right, so we have half inch right here, right there, and then it goes into a buried ceiling. Right. Now, it probably goes to the front of the house. It's possible. Three quarter inch. Yeah, I think the gas meter's out here. So this is from there. Yeah. Yes. This, this. See, I when it drops an inch and a half like that, I think it's one of those things you tell the customer about. Okay. Because the 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 meter does not like 4.5 inches. It wants five. Okay. All right. So what does that do? Well, they would probably say what we did over at the other customer's house, Laura's house, and say, hey. Take all the readings, etc. Mm -hmm. You know, because our responsibility is not the regulator at the gas meter. That's mm -hmm. people's, people's gas. People's gas, right? Everything so, after that meter is off. That's right. Yeah. All right. So we don't normally go around and start adjusting the uh, um, the regulator. Okay. So, but you do have to uh, tell inform the uh, customer that hey, in use 4.5. That's not good. As such, it's not industry. Um, Present customer is the renter. There's no skin off his back. You know, this, um, but, but, um, but you should, you should put it on the ticket because ultimately who's going to pay for it is not the renter, but the, the owner. They still have, in any case, you got to cover your butt because well, the gas valve starts malfunctioning. Okay, well, you were just here, Mike. Yeah, I was just here and it's 4.4 .4 inches. You know, and it might be intermittent because we're right on the line between good and bad. So that's 4.5 going in. Uh, no, going out. No, there's no it's in to in. gas valve coming supply in. pressure. Okay, oh. and the gas valve does not want to see this. It wants to see, see three. five inches. It wants to see at least minimum okay. five inches. Yeah. And the closer we get down to four, maybe it'll open, maybe it won't open. Okay, you follow? But you got to write it down, cover your butt. Okay, uh, we're going to kill the uh, gas. Um, turn off the power. Don't need that. Um, okay. Now we got the gas. We're taking this off. Neat little meter. When you're at this point is when you don't want distraction because you want to get this back on. And then we have to open up the manifold uh, tap. With me, mm -hmm. you guys know this. We've done this. I was just, I was just checking. See, at rest, it's it's a tenth of an inch. But I mean, it's a zero set. Let's see if there. All right, so we were off a tenth of an inch, but that's still. <coughs> That's right, well, it's still not the five. It, it's still not what the industry wants. Minimum five, minimum five. That's right. in the book. Right. Um, when you get the troubleshooting, right, it's in one of those books. Mm -hmm. It might be the 80%er. I think it's another brand. Did you hear the click? Yeah. You know what that was? Thermal couple. The thermal couple. There you go. 
to just get the point that you go to that so, yeah, go, yeah, go, go to the right, right, right. Just go to the, the port. on the manifold. Like All right, let's let's go for it. I'll show <laughs> yeah. you why. I, yeah, right. I'll show you why I don't do this. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, listen to your your students sometimes. You know what this means? It has never been open never ever, set. ever in life. <laughs> I don't like using this because it's going into a round surface. You follow? Mm -hmm. And so when we put this back in, we got to be careful we don't cross thread it. I mean, we have to be real careful we don't cross thread it. Yeah. Damn. All right. Better than breaking that gas valve. I, it wouldn't be a matter of breaking the gas valve. What would happen is I would strip, strip the strip the right. Yeah. See, but that also shows that that's never been opened. Because usually when it's open, somebody has put Teflon tape on it or Teflon paste, it'd be much easier to open. Okay. Yeah, you can just post this baby up here like, oh, you can't move that. That'd be high. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what, it what the magnet? Yeah, so I can try no, to get it. We don't need to see your fancy magnet. No, I, I'm, oh, just, wow. I'm just trying to get a picture, man. <laughs> tough audience. Tough audience. Just throw it in the garbage, <laughs> man. <laughs> just show it off, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure I, I can film this real fast. Real fast. It would help if we had the gas on. Can't for two, yeah. leave the gas off. Oh. Even if you turn it. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Release it. If you light the match, then you depress that. Okay. Okay, if you keep yep. if you keep it on, gas build it. Mikey gets down there. <laughs> Losing the old eyebrows. That's right. Okay. <laughs> you check this again, it's fine. Hold it about 30, 30. 30 right. seconds. We have not oiled the uh, pump yet, we'll get into that. Um Flu looks good. I checked that coming in. Um, there's that damper that's right there. Uh, sometimes I've seen those dampers gone. It kills the draft on that uh, chamber, that chimney. It would have to be sealed, but I see no problem. Why is it even there? We open it up. We can clean it out. The dampers. Dead birds. Right. Um, over the years, you might have bricks fall in. You might have mortar fall in. And release this? Yeah. Okay, let's turn it to on. on the power? Turn it to on, please. Or yes. Where's it on? Right there. Okay. Oh. Our manifold, give it a while. Could be a slow opening one. That's decent. 3.5. That's it. 3.6, 3.5. Okay, now. Remember, we had a problem <coughs> on the burners, right? Yeah. Those two are. 3.6. I want to turn it down. This, this, this can happen on an older one. That adjustment is right, right there. there. Yep. It's got a Phillips head to the top. Now, I am taking the screw out. I am not getting right into the um, the gas stream with this. This is just, just a uh, cap. Just a cap. Now, we have a very small screw in there. So you got a small You guys watch this. Is it zeroed out? Is it zero? Okay. It's zero. It shouldn't be at zero. Is the burner still going? Yeah. Yeah, it's the fire. Do we have the cap by the way? Right. That might be that might be pilot. Let's go oh, here. We go. Why don't we clean this a little bit, Mike? We're in the wrong place. It is. You see it now? Mm -hmm. I'll just strip it if I put that in there. I hope we can turn this without. Again, this is a 
No. no. All right. I can just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. <laughs> Can't do anything. Well, don't vote. Don't vote. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, turn it off there. Do you have a guess? Yeah. No. No, no. Because the, the, the pilot can stay. I mean, we're done with, with... Do you need to put that screw back in there? I will. I will. I'm going to turn this off. Why would the manometer drop down to zero when you took that out? It should have. Now, when you took no, the screw out, the, the manometer dropped to zero. Oh. The adjustment I was looking for is a pilot light. Way back in there. So it just wasn't recording. No, oh, okay. I didn't, I honestly didn't see that with the dirt on it and all that stuff. All right, why couldn't I get the cap out? It's rusted in. Yeah. It also indicates to me that there hasn't been service done on it. Right. You follow? Mm -hmm. These things. So if you, if you actually, if you had to regulate the gas, you would actually have to get a new gas valve. Right. Now, the customer more than likely is sitting right by me and can see that I tried to open this. And they can see that there's all this corrosion on the outside. Well, I can't get the cap off. I can't do squat. Is it worth to spend $250 to put a gas valve in to, to move it a tenth of an inch? I don't think so. Okay, so I just, I tell the customer, hey, I couldn't get the cap off. I couldn't adjust it, period. End of discussion. You know, I put down 3.6. What should it be? 3.5. Well, why can't you adjust it? Because the cap is... Uh, Rusted in. All right, now remember we had a little problem getting this out. Mm -hmm. Well, the next guy, probably me, is going to have to get into this again, right? All right, all right. So, can you use Teflon paste? Yeah, but it's a lot easier to carry <coughs> Teflon tape in my little tool kit. Oh, that's so, messy too. And it's messy too. Right. So I'm just going to put this on. But I like the Teflon. I definitely go with Teflon. Tape or plastic. Or both. Depending on the situation. <coughs> now, we have to be really careful here. There we go. Make sure you thread it just right. No cross threading going on right now. No, here. I don't want to do cross thread, no. Okay. Oh, that's negatory, good buddy. Alright, let's say I do cross thread it. Okay? I'm going to check this pilot. I mean, I'm going to check this with a match. That it's not leaking. Let's say I I put on Teflon. I've I've um, I can see it's going in on an angle. All right. I've put tape on it and all that stuff. Um, worst case scenario is you go to the hardware store, good hardware store, and get a tap for that. You bring the nut in and say, I have to get a tap. A tap will will put new threads on that. Have I ever had to do that? Yeah, I have. Okay. But you can't leave it leaking gas. No. Okay. no, no. Okay, uh, put the door on. Right now. Okay. Um, how are we doing? How are we doing? Matches, because we're going to check that when we turn it on. Looks pretty good from here. All right. Um, if you could turn on up there. Oh, gas is on. All I do is a little thing like that. Okay. If there was a problem, I have a little pile of light just like I had one there. Uh, you with me? Uh, okay, next. And we're almost done. By the way, oh, that baby. there was a question, customer had a question, that is the damper open or closed? That little line mm -hmm. indicates that the damper is open. Yeah, it is open. It's the first time. Every time I look at it, it's been closed. Okay. It should so be closed. Future, just when, when the burners are on, that should be open that way. Okay. Yeah, when the, if you're down there, when it cuts off, you'll you'll hear it and you'll see it. And it'll, and it'll just it'll close, close on its own. Oh, okay, God. we want we I squeeze about thirty seconds in there where you are, okay. so you could do that. Okay. Lift it all the way up, get it in there. It'll keep the door open. All right, start squeezing. Just start squeezing. You have to, that whole top comes off. You put a screwdriver right here, you can just pop it right out. 
you can see that yarn that I talked so about. Do you still remember how to change that uh, assembly, that bearing assembly? Yeah, yeah remember that? I still, I still remember. And it's in the library, the tapes. Yeah. The I think that one is in the library. Yeah, it should I have be. about four series in the library now. Like that was a good one. Good. Okay, yeah, copy of three, four drops. You got it, yeah. yeah. Three, four drops in there, three, four drops that. there. You know, all day long. We only want three, four drops because if we put more in there, the oil gets on the shell of this, can go inside. The oil can attack the enamel on the windings. If it gets on here, it'll hold more fuzz. Speaking of which, I take my... 30 seconds in each port, Mr. Voltec. Just uh, four, 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 four drops, drops here, here. Oh, okay, in the front and back. For the bearing. Okay. Um, clean that other side. I'll take the oil. I like to take the oil. You said four drops for the bearings. Four drops a piece for the bearings, front seconds. and back. 30 seconds for the bearings. Oh, okay. On the actual okay. motor, three to four drops. Oh, okay. For sure. Yeah. We're done with the clan check. We've, um, <laughs> Lord knows, we've done a lot here. So put the cover back on the laptop. So this about wraps everything up. Yes. Yeah, we're this done. This close the portion of the. If I video have program. of our video, thank you so very much, guys, for watching. We we'll truly appreciate you. Check out yeah. more uh, coin videos in our library, and uh, we'll get back to you guys pretty soon. I was going to say one more thing. Okay, oh, go, go ahead. There are service tickets that you can buy that are adhesive and you can put on the side of the boiler and then you write down clean check CC three check a service five, journal type thing three five eleven you know Mike and it and it will give it, it is like you know a service ticket but you know that it was done and when it was done okay and it has your number on it phone number so they can call okay any questions <laughs>